Pirates losers today, but still on top of their division. Play at the plate to end the game. Joey Cora waved the green light to Jung Ho Gung, who was in no condition to run from first to home, and he did. He got thrown out by a mile. So, Josh Sherry, when you see that play, should he have been given that green light? I appreciate the aggression, and the ball did take a funny hop off of the Clemente wall, which is probably why he sent him. But when a guy gets thrown out by 15 feet, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's just not smart baseball. We've seen that way too often from Cora in the last couple of years. And Zheng Ho Gung, it, it clearly, since that injury a few years ago, does not run anywhere near the way he once did. He was a great base runner three or four years ago when we first saw him play. He has slowed down considerably. I understand the situation makes you want to be aggressive, but when a guy gets thrown out by that much, I don't like it. I don't have a problem with it. I like them being aggressive there. I mean, I agree with you that Jung Ho Gung looked like he was running with a refrigerator on his back. But, I mean, you've got two outs. If it was one out, I think it would be a lot different. To me, a, a team challenged scoring runs. The bat they have coming up next, I don't have any problem with it. I would have pinch run for Gung. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Yes. But I like, I like the idea of being aggressive. Yeah, the problem here is that they left Gung in the game, right? right yes. I mean, exp I needed a better explanation afterwards from Hurdle why Pablo Reyes or a pitcher – wasn't available right. to come in. It, it, you know, Musgrove is their best athlete. Just because he's pitching tomorrow doesn't mean he shouldn't be available to come in. It made me wonder if Musgrove was even dressed to play. Maybe they sent him home early because he's tomorrow's starting pitcher. So the, the original sin was having the wrong base runner in there with two outs. All right, real quick. Uh, pretender, contender. I know it's 19 games. We saw the Pirates start this way and better last year, and then they fizzled. Contender, pretender, as we see it here on April the 21st. Anyone? I think they're better than we thought. I, I mean, I don't think the pitching is going to hold out like this through September, but I will say this. They have the best record in baseball right now, or close to it still, without their entire starting outfield, and that's the strength of their team offensively. If those guys are all back in a few weeks, and if the pitching is still at something close to this level, I think we're going to be interested in them throughout the summer at least. I think it would be insane to sit here and say that they're a contender at this point, but they are interesting. I think we all... Why are we insane to say that? Because you don't know. Because it's so early. So, if, wait, if they were like 14-1, and one, would we be allowed to say that, Jason? Like, what kind of parameters are you putting on I'm this putting conversation? I'm putting the fact that it's 20 games into the season. Okay, it's so... 162 in so the season. So, that was a bad question by me, I don't care if they won every one of them, Andrew. It's too early. Wow. Um, I think they are a contender. Sorry, Jason. And I say, <laughs> and, and I say that because right now they've got the best pitching in the National League, and it's been proven. If we, you have the best well, pitching, you make the playoffs. All right, playoffs. guys, i got to go to a break. But I wish I had more time for this because we want to talk Steelers draft next right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Show.